Evening, sir. Oh. You want your supper? Oh, it's thoughtful of you, Pat. I'm not very hungry for some reason. Election nerves, eh? No. Retained Sheriff John R. Brady, Lincoln County's finest lawman. Well, the big day's tomorrow. If it were just Bob Orange, you wouldn't have much to worry about. Yeah. It's a man behind him that's causing the worry. Andy Gorman, one of the few men I could never figure out. Well, it isn't hard to do. Just hard to believe. Gorman came here before the rest of us. He feels that makes this whole county his personal property. Someday he'll make a real grab for it. There will be a war in Lincoln County or go into the history books. Not as long as you're sheriff. Well, at least I've tried. Alone. Till you rode in, Pat. You know, you taught me something. A man can fight just as hard for something he believes in as he can for personal gain. Well, you taught me a few things, too. Well, I'll take this food up to that vagrant I locked up. I'll eat with you later. Anybody I know? I doubt it. I haven't seen him before. He struck me wrong. He tried to start a fight down at Murphy's saloon. Funny thing is, he didn't show any fight when I marched him off to the pokey. <laughs> well, you can turn him loose in the morning. Just make sure he gets out of town. Mm -hmm. Face doesn't match any of the Dodgers. I'm, I'm all s smashed inside. No. I said, Gorman, it's stop at nothing. This, this was a setup. Don't try to talk. I've got to. I've got to, Pat. This is my county. I've tried to keep it clean. I've tried hard. You've done all any man could do. You, you'll keep right on trying. I know that, Pat. job. I didn't mean that the way it sounds. You know, Brady was my best friend. Yeah, I know that, Mayor Bowman. i just come from a special meeting of the town council. You identified the man who killed him? Uh, someone they brought in especially for the job. You sure of that? I mean, that somebody hired him. 
I'm sure of it, yeah. It was set up like clockwork. They suckered Brady into putting him in jail. They passed him a shotgun. But opening the door of his own jail was the one time they could count on Brady being caught off guard. The only thing they didn't plan on was your being here. If you hadn't killed him. I did. I'm sorry. I don't like second guesses either. The council was unanimous that your name replaced Brady's on the ballot. If you'll accept. I accept. Well, it isn't going to be very easy. There isn't much time left. The polling place is open in an hour. And with Gorman backing Oranger, spending so much money... If you mean I haven't got much of a chance, I know it. I was afraid maybe you wouldn't accept the council's offer, you knowing the circumstances. I owe it to Brady to try. I'll help all I can, Garrett. I'll send riders to cover the county and notify every town of what's happened. For the sake of the decent people in this territory, I hope you win. Just listen a minute. They all know that Sheriff Brady was killed last night. And I want to announce that by decision of the council, Pat Garrett's name has been placed in nomination. Just a minute. You mean Pat Garrett is running against Oranger for Sheriff? I'll let him tell you that himself. Maybe you have an objection, Gorman. Well, if he doesn't, I have. I never try to stop a man from making a fool of himself. You interfered with my plans once before, Garrett. Don't do it twice. I'll bear that in mind. Look, Pat, it isn't fair shouldering the troubles of this whole county off onto you. I ask for it. Some settlers tried to vote, but Gorman stopped them. All right, get it. Get out of here! And that goes for all the rest of you. Any more of you sod busters feel like voting? Try me, aren't you? These are the best odds you'll ever get, aren't you? I'll lay you ten to five. I can put two slugs in your belly before you can raise that gun and pull the trigger. Make up your mind. Not while you're wearing that badge, Garrett. You interfering with the voting, Gorman? You know better than that. I use the law. I always have. The law guarantees Orange the right to challenge any vote. Yeah, the county law you like to quote so much. 
Unless you got to be a resident for six months before you can vote. Can you prove they haven't been here that long? It's up to them once they're challenged to prove they have. They'll have their chance in front of Judge Colbert tomorrow. The election's today. So it is. Judge Colbert's out of town. He won't be back until tomorrow. It takes a territorial judge to make a ruling. He can make his ruling when he returns tomorrow. These men vote today. Go ahead. Go on, nobody will stop you. Just make sure you've been here at least six months. How much does a territorial judge cost, Gordon? Less than a county sheriff or his killer. I've had enough from you, Garrett. You want me to listen, you talk plain. The man who shot Brady had ten $20 gold pieces on him. And you think he got them from me? Will you try and prove that, Garrett? I intend to. Take off your hats. As long as you wear that badge, you can give the orders. That won't be long. As soon as the votes are counted, you'll be through with the law, man, Garrett. So enjoy it while you can. I carried a gun long before I ever wore a star. In those days, I knew what I had to do when a friend of mine was murdered. I was going to kill you last night, Gorman. The only thing that stopped me was this badge I'm wearing. Ten minutes after I take it off, I'll come looking for you. You reckon he means that, boss? He means it. Brady, Patrick. I'm sorry. Thanks, Billy. Well, you tell you're running for sheriff. You know, I wish you luck. Thanks again. You can count on my vote, boy. Maybe even twice. <laughs> you're not 21. Oh, you're going to let a little technicality like that bother you? I'm afraid I would, Billy. I had a hunch you might. Reckon you know Gorman paid the man that killed Brady. Can you prove that? I can't prove that no more than you can. Stands the reason. You stopped me from killing Gorman once. I kind of figure you're going to have to kill Gorman yourself now. Unless I take care of it for you. I'll do my own killing. If the time comes. I kind of figured that too. Patrick? Uh, can I walk with you? I don't mind. I guess you know this election's all rigged, don't you? You might stand a chance, except the Gorman's going to run off any sure votes for you. Most honest men scare easy. Not most, just some. You're pretty close anyway. I figure a hundred votes will swing it your way. Make it plain, Billy. Well, I mean, I just know a hundred men, I'd vote for you. Gorman wouldn't scare them off. What men? Friends of mine. Used to be friends of yours, too, Patrick. I know they'd get a fair shake from you, and that's all they'd ask. What men, Billy? Dave Rudabar, Charlie Bolger, Tom O'Fallon. Outlaws, every one of them. Yeah, you might call them that. Like I said, all I'd expect from the new sheriff of Lincoln County is a fair shake. Every one of them know you, Patrick. I'm sorry, Billy. I know you're trying to help, but it just doesn't work that way. Well, it does for Gorman. Sheriff Brady over there could have told you that. No, Billy, it won't work, at least not for me. I didn't make the rules, but I'll finish this game by them. If any of your friends show up and try to vote, they'll spend time on the pokey. I knew the time when Pat Garrett wouldn't let the killing of a friend pass by. The times change, don't they, Patrick? Billy. There's nothing left to talk about. Maybe not, I don't know. 
Look, Billy, you've asked me to side with you before. Now it's my turn. I'm asking you to play this through my way. How far through? All the way through, even if it means riding out together and not coming back. All right. <laughs> kind of had me going there for a minute, boy. You should know what you're getting into. Gorman will have Oranger and another man with him. I figure the odds are just about dead even, Patrick. I said one time I was going to kill Oranger. I guess today just about as good a time as any. Let's go look at the election returns. Hey, on there. Oh, thank you. Here are the first returns from the town of Lincoln. 167 for Pat Garrett. 211 for Bob Oranger. Oh, you're in. Okay. That's all. Stay right there. Boys, here's to the new sheriff of Lincoln County. Me. <laughs> you may not live long enough to pin on the badge. You had a gun on him this afternoon. What kept you from settling it then? Well, time wasn't right. Never is with a man like Garrett. You have to take your chance. I'm not afraid of Garrett. But I'm not killing him while he's wearing that badge. It's as good an excuse as any. All right. I've seen Garrett shoot. The only man in New Mexico who can match him is Billy the Kid. Look, I've waited too long for this chance. Garrett was only talking. He has nothing on us. For Brady's murder, I mean. I wonder if he needs anything. This is the final count, Mayor. Oh, thank you. They finished counting the Lincoln ballots. The final ballot in the town of Lincoln is... 231 for Pat Garrett. 260 for Bob Oranger. <laughs> The drinks are on your new sheriff, boys. Come and get them. I hope you're a good loser, Garrett. You stand to lose more than I do, Gorman. Set him up. Sorry, Pat. But it may not be over. Fort Stanton and Tularosa could swing it back to you. Uh, that isn't likely. But my work is cut out for me, win or lose. What if you're wrong, Garrett? What if I didn't hire the man who killed Brady? I'm not wrong. I've got two men with me. I can get more. You gonna face us alone? Mr. Gorman? He ain't alone. I suppose Billy was a friend of Brady's, too. Uh -huh. Billy's a friend of mine. <laughs> There's a boat from Fort Stanton. There'll be a rider in from Tula Rosa soon. Stick him with the law, but not Billy. So maybe I better withdraw. Nah, no, not yet. 
If I don't, they'll nail us both into a pine box. Look, Bob. Billy is siding in with Garrett now. But it won't last. Billy always has to have his own way. So when it ends between them, maybe we don't have to worry about Garrett. Expect me to gamble on that. I can take Garrett apart with my fist, but I can't stand up to him with a gun. You don't need a gun. If you're not yellow. You'll have to play it your way if you jump him now. Garrett said he'd kill me if he loses the election. There's no other way out. You just make sure you finish the job. <clears throat> Listen to me, all of you. I got something to say. It looks like I'm elected. I want to make something clear. Sheriff Brady was shot and killed last night. He's a man that used to walk soft and get along with everybody. Till he hired a man who wears a gun like he wears his shirt. I'm talking about Pat Garrett. Things changed after Garrett started shoving Brady around. Garrett made a good thing out of being deputy sheriff. Too good if you ask me. Orangey, you're a liar. Sure, call me a liar. You know I can't match you with a gun. So go on, hide behind that gun and badge. Call me names. <laughs> Is that the way you want it, aren't you? Just the way I want it. It's been easier to kill you. So don't anybody touch a gun. Congratulations, Patrick. You might need that thing until I get you a new one. 